All this fuss, and we're back to square one. Are you lot are a buzzkill. The Legion is attacking the square. That's solid evidence of subversion. The city council has cleared your extermination. Your riot is over. Zoya, raise your hands. Raise your hands and surrender yourself. Do you hear me? Shoot me already or shut up. Don't give me this threatening. You haven't set foot in Syndicate for years. Why have you chosen to come back here today of all days? Right when the Legion is about to eradicate all other gangs and take over Syndicate. Because you'll lose your source of income once the gangs are eradicated? Or because the Legion has come upon some secret that will choke off your career? Let's return to the negotiation table, Burns. Director of the City Council, former chief of the local security precinct. This isn't a threat. There hasn't been a negotiation. This is an order. Turn over the inheritance and the sinner. Or you and your legion will perish today. Your deaths will restore the authority of the West District Order Management Regulations and serve as a reminder to all syndicates of what awaits those who rebel. Well, well. You're like a mad dog that has got its tail stepped on and can do nothing but bark. If you're so concerned about getting caught, you shouldn't have hooked up with those mania peddlers and allowed them to ruin Syndicate. What did that sinner tell you? The kid didn't discover it. I guessed it. She didn't realize that the source of a piece of information is as important as the information itself. This subordinate of mine learned the whereabouts of the inheritance while she was half-conscious in captivity. She was held in the MBCC, then in the Public Security Bureau of the West District. Drugging imprisoned sinners is right up the alley of those timid sheriffs. The question is, why did that particular piece of information appear in the cell? While well, the Legion had searched for it for so long, interrogated so many gangsters, and trashed so many black markets to no avail. Are you implying the Public Security Bureau is proliferating mania weapons? Don't play dumb with me. Give me the arms dealer you've been protecting. Shut it, you thug! You don't have a clue of what I'm trying to achieve here. You rotten rats! You scorn education! You have no vision! You refuse to see the bigger picture! All you do is fight each other in the mire of violence! and then rot and descend along with this stinky neighborhood. Be quiet and accept your death. To think you even tried to lay a finger on me. I am the man who will stand on the top of the city, who will lead it to true glory. Don't make me laugh. You're a syndicate too. 13 years ago, you signed the West District Order Management Regulations by betraying Syndicate to make a fortune and cultivate connections, you got yourself out of Syndicate and into the Public Security Bureau, and eventually got to where you are today. You're flaunting your new identity, and at the same time, you're eager to cut yourself off from your past. Looks like you want to be a pure dignitary. Shut it! See? You despise the violence of Syndicate, but when you come face to face with it, all you do is bluster from a safe distance. If it weren't for these filthy weapons, you wouldn't even dare breathe loudly in front of me. 
You can't wipe the slate clean, Burns. No matter how degenerate the Syndicans might become, you will be the most hideous of them all. To be honest, I did hold a glimmer of hope that there would be more of those simple-minded straight shooters, so that the stinky script wouldn't be followed again. Sure enough, there can only be one possible ending for this city in the hands of people like you. I hear people who have nothing to do with this or don't follow orders aren't allowed in. So it means these are all your people. Great. Then I won't feel bad for killing any of you. Earl did it anyway? I've told them this is my business only. Those guys, they're holding me back. I should make quick work of this, or they'll be down before I come to their aid. Now tell me about this friend of yours, Mr. Burns. <laughs> 